You know it. Let's get it. Come on. What? What? Yeah. Woo. All right, babies. Nothing to it but to HQ it. Question one coming at you. What infamous box office dud turned cult classic stars Elizabeth Berkley, Casablanca, Showgirls, or Citizen Kane? What's it gonna be? Question number one. I like y'all like the way we're doing this now, switching it up. Let us know in the chat how you feeling about the, me in a bubble thing. It's different. Yeah. Have you ever eaten dog food? Hmm. We can't really quote much more from from Showgirls. It really earned that R rating. But if you're in the mood for wild and crazy Vegas drama, you gotta see it to believe it! I used to love Doggy Chow. <laughs> I used to love Doggy Chow, too. Why was they eating Doggy Chow? Showgirls, y'all! Yeah, that was Jessica Sophilopoulos from <laughs> Saved by the Bell. Showgirls! 286,468 just got that one right. You're moving on to Q2. What it do? What movie is this clip from? Take a look. It's turkey time. Troll 2, Sharknado, or Geely? What's it gonna be? It's turkey time. Hmm. Maybe something Thanksgiving related, perhaps? When is turkey time at your house? Let us know in the chat. <laughs> Okie dokie. Benefer 1.0. We hardly knew you when you combined the charisma of uh, J-Lo and Ben Affleck. You put those together, sometimes if that can't save your movie, you're in trouble. Jiggly is the answer there. Jiggly. Jiggly puff, jiggly puff. I know it's Jiggly, but it looks like Jiggly, okay? 250,000 and three of y'all got that one right. Here we go, question number three. What are the antagonist creatures in Deep Blue Sea? Are they super smart sharks, super rude teens, or super fast snakes? Hmm? What's it gonna be? Let y'all check it on out. Deep Blue Sea, what did it have as the antagonist creatures? All right, the scientist in this movie decided to make sharks more intelligent so that she could cure her dad's Alzheimer's. Noble? Sure. A good plan? Not really. Also, the worst LL Cool J song of his career. Deepest, bluest, my head is like a shark's fin. Deepest, bluest, my head is like a shark's fin. Sorry, LL. I know we both from Queens, but that song was basura. Trash. Super Smart Sharks was the right answer there, y'all. 229,000 and a bunch of y'all got that one right. Time for question number four. Coming at your door. Knock, knock. No, you want some more. Here we go. What does Tommy Wiseau say at the end of this speech? I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bull. I did not hit her. I did not. What's he say? Good doggy, pass me the football, or oh hi Mark. Hmm? What's it gonna be? Let's uh let's take a little look see here. Alright, if you remember that was the room, okay? One of the most famous scenes from probably the best worst movie of all time. Sorry, troll two. It's oh hi Mark! That's what oh, he said. Oh, hey, Johnny, what's up? Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah. Word. Oh, hi, Mark was the answer we were looking for. Let's see how many of y'all got it right. 177,380. All righty. <laughs> Time for ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Yeah. Here we go. Which of these movies features Lucasfilm animatronics? Gremlins 2, Leprechaun, or Howard the Duck? Let y'all think about it. Okay, Lucasfilm had their little animatronic puppet things. Were they in Gremlins 2, Leprechaun, or Howard the Duck? Justice for Gremlins 2! It wasn't that bad, okay? Howard the Duck, on the other hand, that was an early misstep for uh, Marvel and Lucasfilm. Howard the Duck, y'all. 125,072 knew what to do. Holy shoot. Look at you. I'm proud, babies. Howard the Duck was the answer. You got it. You're moving on to question number six. All the other kids who are on to question six. You better tap, better tap, tap the right answer. 
What is a plot point of the Batman movie with the lowest Rotten Tomatoes rating? Freezing Gotham City, fighting Superman, or a mind-reading box? What's it gonna be? I'll tell y'all right now. Uh, Joel Schumacher tried it with Batman and Robin. Uh, he tried it. Turns out, it's hard to freeze a city. For the record, he also directed the, uh, the not great Batman Forever, which has the actual introduction of the nipple bat suits. Let's kick some ice. Yes. Wow, my name is Arnold, but in this movie I'm Mr. Freeze, and we have to get the, uh, the diamonds, because the diamonds are icy, and you put it in the laser gun, and it makes ice shoot out. Wow, wow. Get to the... <laughs> Okay, 90,184, y'all got that one. Congratulations, it's time for question number seven, babies. Which of these famous flops has strangely, has, it has a strangely long dance scene in a fast food restaurant? Repo Man, Xanadu, or Mac and Me? Really, really long dance scene in a fast food restaurant. Okay, McDonald's wanted their own E.T., but what they got was Mac and me. A truly, truly freaky alien looking family coming down to Earth and basically ruining things. It gave us this though, take a look. What's he doing? I don't know. So many questions. So many questions. 37,679 of y'all. Moving on to question number eight. Know you're feeling great. Let's get it. Who is Mark Wahlberg reacting to in this scene from The Happening? What? No. Is it Zoe Deschanel, Betty Buckley, or John Leguizamo? What? No. What? No. Let's see. All right. What? No. If you don't know who Betty Buckley is, why don't you? Educate yourself. She is a star of stage and screen and a fave of M. Night Shyamalan. Plan on murdering me in my sleep? What? No. What? No. 19,890 got that one right. We are blowing through this quiz all the way to question number nine. Here we go. I know you're feeling fine for question number nine. Which of these infamous movies was directed by a respected playwright? The Wicker Man, Battlefield Earth, or Maximum Overdrive? Directed by a respected playwright. Neil Labute, I hope I said that right. <laughs> he really laboffed it with this one. The playwright behind the hit uh, In the Company of Men and The Shape of Things both wrote and directed this incredibly terrible remake of 1973's classic, The Wicker Man. How'd it get burned? How'd it get burned? How'd it get burned? How'd it get burned? Look, okay, if Nicolas Cage is yelling at you, you answer him, okay? Help him out. How'd it get burned? 17,253 in the place to be. Look at y'all. whoop de dee it's time for question number 10, my friends. Let's get it in. Woo woo! Deepest blue is my hat is like a shark's fin. That's gonna be stuck in my head forever. Damn you, LL Cool J. In which of these ways does the ending of Grease 2 emulate the ending of Grease? Head out in the car, same song, or neither? What's it gonna be? All right, well, everybody knows Grease ends with flying off in a car and the great song, We go together like shoo bop shoo bop zippity zip doop That's not the words. Grease 2's conclusion is pretty lackluster in comparison, but, uh, at least it stars Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> that school was white. <laughs> So white. Yeah. <laughs> neither was the right answer there. 7,197 of y'all got neither. That was the answer. Don't forget y'all, HQ Words is coming up tonight at 9.30 with 10 puzzles all about movie musicals. What? Ooh, I wanna play that one. I love movie musicals. All right, question number 11, all dogs go to heaven. I keep going like this to show off my tattoo. 
It's my grandmother's nickname. She's still alive, and I love her very much. She's the reason I do everything that I do artistically. Here we go! What is the villain in Speed 2 Cruise Control mainly mad about? Getting fired, copper poisoning, or the captain? I'll tell y'all, okay? You don't want to see Willem Dafoe mad, okay? Because he gets mad. He hijacks a cruise, and then he puts leeches on his body to suck out the copper poisoning he got by sitting too close to a computer. Yeah. Oh, that's a savage question! Woo! Savage Quest song! Sorry you got it wrong! Savage Quest song! Copper poisoning was the answer. Copper poison? Copper poison? How you get copper poison? Like licking pennies or something? That's dumb. Okay, Willem Dafoe, getting copper poisoning in Speed 2 Cruise Control. I didn't see that movie. 3,489 got it right. You're moving on to question 12. Yeah! Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me at Matt What's Funny. Woo! Question 12. Is it question 12? Question 12. Uh, question 12. Question 12. Woo! <laughs> All right, Sylvester Stallone's movie about competitive arm wrestling ends on a shot of Sly doing what? Hugging his son, winking at the camera, or holding his trophy? The competitive, competitive arm wrestling movie. Whew. And they say that everybody has run out of ideas. I got so many ideas. Hollywood, holla at your boy. Let's, let's make some art and movies. Yeah. All right. This championship arm wrestling match is six minutes long. Six minutes of two large men grunting at each other with no actual action. But at least it repaired Sly's relationship with his son. Your daddy is the best at arm wrestling another dude. Yeah, <laughs> 1,905 of y'all, just one HQ trivia. Oh, I'm gonna look at my tattoo. Hey, hey, twerk, 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 twerk. There's a star falling, time to twerk. We have 1,905 winners. Everybody's walking out of here with two dollars and sixty some odd cents. Funky puss. What? <laughs> oh jeez. Funk. Funky puss. Okay. Yep. And uh, Empra. Yep. Left stick. Stephen A. Heather Ann. Kit Gujigagad. Uh, Banana Girl. Chip. Uh. Kip J Mooney. Mary Com. Congratulations, everybody. I think y'all make up these weird ass names to confuse me, but it's all good. Yes, you did it. You are officially an HQ winner. Words is coming up next at 9.30 p.m. with 10 puzzles all about movie musicals. Come back tomorrow also. Check this out, you ready? Tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern for more trivia, more shmoney. I have been your host, babies. Matt Richards. Follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. Have a good night, babies. Bye.